everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am going to assemble all the little autumnal projects I did alongside the autumn walk cal onto my base. Now of course you don't need to do the same thing, you can put them in a bowl, you can make bunting, you can put them on a wreath, whatever you would like to do with them is of course perfectly fine. So what will you need to attach your bits to your base? So I have here my hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks. I have some um, florist tape, some florist wire in various colors and also a needle, a metal one and some yarn. Now, obviously you don't need all of this. Just look around to see what base you are going to use. Now, if you are planning on making a bunting, like we did with the pumpkin garland type project, then of course you're going to use a crochet hook and your base yarn for your chain. But um, I am using my base, so I'm going to try and attach things with my hot glue gun. Maybe it would be easier to pull the ends, because of course I haven't remove them towards the back and then just tie it all up there you know because nobody's going to see the back so let's see how you know how i can attach it best so you know whichever way you sort of normally have for attaching things to bases that's fine now i am using my willow base as you can see here this is the one i made so I will show you how to make that in the next video and there is a link below the next video uh, where I actually got the idea and you can make this as well because she can make it too. I am planning on trying and making it with forage materials as well very soon in the future. Now if you don't have that base or you can't go out to make one and you might have a wreath. So this is one of my decorative wreaths that I have in my house and you could easily put some things on there. You might not notice it but here is that one? No I don't think you can see it actually. There is some, I have used this before, so I have glued, uh, hot glued stuff on there and just pulled it back off again uh, when the season was over. So it can be done, you can reuse these uh, wreaths. Uh, so just depending on what you have, you could do a basket full of your little uh, makes uh, or just on your mantelpiece with some candles next to it. Of course, do be careful for fire safety. And of course, what else do you need? You need all the things that you have made. Now, obviously, I've been making some and uh, while I was filming and then I sent the patterns to Karen for her to try them out and actually she made so many things for me because she just couldn't stop making them <laughs> so thank you Karen for making all the little bits this is not all of it okay there is a lot more but I have last night I have already taken my base and I have put it all on there uh, in a nice way because of course that takes a little bit long to um, you know sort of try a composition out seeing what and how it would look and what would be you know the better thing to do so we also have some normal leaves in here uh, which I've done before on the channel as well um, we made some toadstools um, and then of course a number of pumpkins I mean yes I think Karen had a field day making all these for me as well. <laughs> so, now for instance, if you were to put this on your wreath, then you'll just have to find a base thing to start with. So this will cover up some of the base. So let's do that for just showing you how I go about putting my thing together. And as you can see, you know, all the ends are still there which I don't mind, um, it's just you need to now sort out what you're going to do with it and if I was to use the ends now for sewing it, sort of putting them on the needle and then sort of weaving them in and out, that would secure it as well. So, you know, there's lots of ways that you can try and secure your items to your base that you are going to make. <laughs> 
okay and then now on top of here i'll probably put some can i find it maybe a toadstool and an acorn see this is without anything because in the beginning i just sewed it in or i cut it off i don't, can't remember what i did but then that makes you know that will have to be glued on now okay so that will attach it sort of forever more so it's just a way of you know having a bit of fun and going about looking at what would be a nice composition just now i have done a little bit of a display here and i've only done it sort of in a half moon shape on the one side of my round base i put my pumpkins here down below then i put some acorns here pine cones mushrooms so i just sort of put them together as if you were walking through the forest and you were collecting them at certain points and just like with um, the wreath i did the leaves first so i first laid out some leaves flat on there just to uh, you know sort of help you get a base ready for them putting your items on top as you can see all the ends are still sticking out but that's good because now i can actually start attaching it either with my hot glue gun uh, sewing in the ends through the willow to the back and then maybe tying it to another end also think about it if you want to undo it later on as well if you want to reuse your base then you'll have to find a way to attach it without actually damaging your base so let me just sit down now and see if i can start attaching things before i touch anything i've taken a picture of my um, composition here so that if I do lose it um, you know because I spent a bit of time putting it together putting it on taking things off you know rearranging things because I had these items mixed up first but I had the pumpkins on the base I thought you know you can't really put pumpkins in the air up there um, so yeah I thought this was the one that I liked so I then did take a picture of that so in case you um, you know you sort of lose it but what I generally do is once I have it all there I then start from one end and I sort of go through it like that so I have here two little leaves that I want to attach and because right let me just pull this back like that so they are about there and because I've still got this on and there's two of them and that one is on there as well I'm going to just try and just bring the end through to the other side see that worked really well this one will go this is a metal uh, darning needle it's a higher higher one and i have to say i really like using them because well it's aluminium uh, and obviously you can use them for things like that because they won't break like plastic ones will so don't go into the same hole go into somewhere else and yeah there we go so there we go so i could actually just Obviously not now, I'm not going to turn around my, <laughs> but I could just tie it round the back if I had maybe put this underneath. All right, this is my pot of hot glue sticks. See, so put this underneath. Now you can give it a little bit of a knot at the underside without moving all your other things. There we go. So we'll turn it over, cut off the ends later, but this has is now attached and you know it might just move a bit but that's that's okay there we go see and yeah you'll just have to <laughs> try and you know like i said whichever way you think you're going to be able to attach it is fine if you're not worried about undoing it then just hot glue it all basically um but i love i really really love this tray I've made two. One is in the bedroom with some natural decoration, um, some pine cones and some other stuff that I found on that same that same day when I made it. So, yeah, I really love that. Um, so I don't want to ruin it. I want to reuse it for other um, times as well. So then we bring this one to sort of there. So it just overlaps a little bit. That's fine. Take it out. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Maybe I can do the whole thing like that. Uh, obviously the pumpkins will have to be so um hot glued on because obviously 
Oh, maybe, yeah, the end is here. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, I could put the end through to the end, to the bottom. Okay, <laughs> it's all happening, you know, so you'll see possibilities of how to do this. So I am just going to continue doing this. <laughs> Shall I time lapse it? <laughs> I'll show you some of it in a moment. done is I have pulled all the ends to the back. Some of these are loose because there were no ends but I have also tied most of them at the back so it's looking quite okay. So first before I do anything else I'm just going to attach um, plugging in my hot glue gun again because obviously I didn't need it. I was able to uh, pull everything to the back so this is all reasonably well attached apart from like i said the few ones that didn't have anything left to attach them with so i'm just going to do that now and then i shall turn it over and show you right okay so we have a little one here that needs a little blob i'll just put a little blob on and just push it down and hope that that will keep it on. If it doesn't, when I lift it up, obviously there'll be <laughs> other things that will have to be put on there. See, just a little blob like that. And then just push it on. I mean, yeah, it's um, obviously you can make it permanent, but I tend to change things like the Oh, that was attached. OK, but not just yet tied down so I'll have to do that once I get there right so let me just try and turn it over yeah look that's a good sign nothing's falling down now I have to turn this over in between the tripod and it's still all there that's good okay so yeah as you can see there's long bits here and to be honest I'm just going to keep tying them together um, if I do undo it, sort of when I get fed up with it, then I, all I'll do is just, you know, sort of cut off against the um, the willow. And that way I can reuse that for maybe a spring one or summer. So I hope I didn't confuse you too much with first calling it a garland, then a bunting, then a wall hanging, then this, then that. Um, you know, sort of towards when I was making all these things... Um, I had the opportunity to go and make these baskets and then I was given some of the leftover willow and then of course your head starts you know I had this wonderful material to work with and all of a sudden I, I was watching more willow uh, YouTube videos about basket making and everything and then there it was that tray and I watched it the, the evening and I thought oh that's a nice thing I'll do that one day when I um you know, when I'm going for a walk and I take my secateurs and I just cut a few things off. And then all of a sudden I, you know, my willow had gone too dry to use. And I thought, oh, that's a real shame. I really don't want to chuck it. Obviously, I haven't. I've got a little bit left and I've just got it in the corner of the room as decoration. And, you know, that way you sort of, you know, I used it in a different way. It had to be straight for this. So it was perfect. So there we go. So I've tied most of these things on. All I need to do now is find my scissors, which would be handy if I actually still had them around. Of course, there they are. OK, and now all I'm going to do is making sure that you've done the knot for every one that you're going to cut off. You might have you know, missed one here and there. I'm also going to, you know, see, look, interconnect. I mean, obviously, it's not super important. There we go, just ensuring it's not going to fall off. And then once you've done that, you can go back to the front with your hot glue gun and just re 
position things because of course we've turned it over now but look this is quite neat at the back right um, and that's not going to make it sit away from the wall too much either um, some of the chains are longer so don't cut those just cut the just cut the strands there we go and then over to here Okay, so I've just cut them really so they don't show on the front. Now let's turn it over again. Let's do that same movement as I did before because I managed not to hit the tripod. <laughs> and does it look okay still? Some things have moved slightly, but that's okay. Quick reposition there. And you can put it in that favourite place that you want it to be. So thank you very much for watching. Stick around for some pictures and I will see you in the next video where I will be making the base. So stick around for that. Before you go, please like and share this video. Ring the bell so you're notified of new videos. Join our community on Facebook and here are some more videos you might find interesting. Thank you so very much for watching and come back soon. Bye!